Sheila, would you please cut me some slack? I am trying to watch my game here. Martin, I am not letting up until you tell me where you were last night. It's none of your business where I was. What do you mean it's none of my business? I'm your wife. Right. You're my wife, not my warden. So get off of my back. Defense! You call that defense, you morons? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm talking to you, Martin. If you don't want to be a couple of legs dangling from the ceiling, you better plug that TV back in right now. Martin, shut up. Debbie's right in the other room. She's going to hear you. I don't care who hears me. I want my football game back on now. Then tell me where you were last night. I was out last night. That's all. Out. I stayed out like that lots of times, and you never cared before. Now give me that pluck. Ow! You broke my fingernails. Big deal now. It'll match the other nine. Nice nails with all the work I have to do around here. What do you do? Your nails should be perfect. Oh, and what do you think you look like, huh? Have you checked the mirror lately? Meaning what? Meaning you're a slob, Martin. You're the biggest slob I've ever seen. Hey, how about I teach you a new word? You ready? Here's your new word. Comb. As in comb your hair. Try it sometime. You expect me to look like James Bond or somebody? I'm in construction for crying out loud. I'm not asking for James Bond, just something a little closer to the human race. <clears throat> How's that? You're grotesque. I work damn hard for the two of you, and when I get a little free time, I think I'm entitled to spend it the way I want. That's a wonderful sharing attitude for you to take. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. You've got your entire day to yourself. I don't have but a couple of hours a night and my weekends to enjoy myself. I don't know why I married you in the first place. She's playing in the other room. You're really an animal, you know that? Mommy. What? The children's zoo? Never heard of it. Where did you get this? It's filthy. Did you get it off the playground or something? Come on, would you give the kid a break, please? What's it say, kid? No, come on, tell daddy. It's an invitation to the children's zoo. Never heard of it. It's off of I-20. There is nothing off of I-20. Well, that's what the map says. Oh. Great. You take her there. Me? Hey, look, you've been looking for an excuse to get out of the house anyway. You really think Debbie deserves to go to the zoo? <sighs> yes. I said yes. It says here both parents must accompany the child. Yes, so yes. You said she deserves to go. This children's zoo place better not be crowded. That's all I gotta say. I wish that were all you had to say. Now you're complaining because there's nobody here. Speaking of cars, whose cigarette butts are those in the station wagon ashtray? You know, the ones with the lipstick. Where did you go last hey, night, anyway? I, I told you, it is none of your stinking Hi there. Business. You are Welcome to the children's zoo. My name is Melody. What's yours? Her name's Debbie. Debbie Cunningham. Why are you so all fired up? Do you have an invitation, what? Debbie? If you must know, Edgar suggested. Edgar! Did you get this from a friend? Debbie At school? And he or she told you all about us? Infidelity, my case in court would be that your much case. stronger. Oh, you're talking to Debbie, divorce. where do you think you're going? Young lady, where is my daughter wandering off to by herself? It's all right, Mrs. Cunningham. We find that the children benefit most when they visit the zoo on their own. Don't worry. Debbie's going to be just fine. Here, let me show you where the parents' waiting room is. That's where Debbie will see you when she's finished. Great. Good idea about this. Well, it's the best idea. Congratulations. It's the idea of our divorce. It's sensational. I'm taking you to the cleaner. Great. I'd love it. 
Hey, what time you get off of work, huh? Welcome to the Children's Zoo. Simply follow the orange line on the wall to your right. To hear the parents speak, press the red button directly below the cage identification number. Please take this with me, dear the parents. We really will, please. Dude, please, just punch that little button right there and let's, let us out. Please, please do take us. Please take Oh, please. Jojo, and we're just aching to be your new parents, aren't we, Jojo? In the very worst way, Lamb Chop. Do you like cookies? Oh, of course you do. I make the very best chocolate chip yeah. and pecan cookies. Wait till you try them. Uh, you can have them for breakfast, lunch, and supper if you want. Why, well, any time at all. And cake, ice cream. <laughs> just, uh... Let us be your parents. Please. Please. How about a pony? If we promise you a pony. Uh... Gee, you're probably one of the youngest to ever come through. How old are you? Around four? Our son was seven when he brought us here. That seems like such a long time ago. We've learned our lesson. We know what it means to be good parents now. If you were to give us a chance, we would promise to be the very best parents that we know how. Good choice, I'd say, Debbie. Shall we? Mm -hmm. 